Believe it or not, the exclusive armors of Shipwrecked are relatively ignorable for the most part. Not only do a number of them provide low protection in comparison to what we already know, but the perks they offer are just a bit too limited to truly sing them any praise, especially cause a number of them are the bloody freaking same. But that being said, they must be covered, and one piece of noggin shielding, the horned helmet, is gonna be worth the price of admission. Once more with the feeling, nature's a prickly thing, so don't feel bad about destroying a part of it for some cactus spikes drawn from elephant cactus. Use three of them and a wood body for what is known as cactus armor, an armor that provides 80% protection, which is quite notable. However, it only has 450 durability, which isn't great. But it does come with the added bonus of dealing 17 damage to your attackers each hit taken. Even ranged enemies are gonna feel the sting. I realize I just said that these armors were lackluster, but pricking your enemies when they're bothering you is actually a lovely touch. Plus wearing a set of these prevents any additional ranged damage from further elephant cacti. So have fun harvesting. But oh yeah, do not waste your time with these on boats as you technically aren't the one getting hit. So that damage is not gonna be a thing. So why not wear some seashells by the seashore? Bring together 10 seashells, two seaweed, and a rope for an armor that has 750 durability, absorbs 75% of physical damage taken, but most importantly, protects from the poison attacks of venomous snakes all about those pesky poisonous mosquitoes of the monsoon season, the dangerous jumping spider warriors of the jungles, and even yellow crocodogs of the sea. For anyone not playing WX, poison can certainly make life hecka difficult. So an early suit of this could give you all the peace of mind you may need. Careful though, because the attack that does break your armor does have a chance to poison you. But oh yeah, you may encounter one of these from slots or X marks the spots as well. Enter the intrepid limestone suit. It's very much the equivalent of the marble armor from the base game, only kinda not at all really. But remember that limestone is three coral refined, so continue your quest to doom the earth and us all for an armor that has 825 durability, grants 70% protection, but slows you down by 10% overall. Compared to a marble suit's 1,050 health and 95% protection, it is no contest. But I do guess that lower penalty to your movement speed is welcoming. Plus, you can't really get marble without a Reign of Giants world anyway. However, one can turn up the heat with a set of obsidian armor from atop the Mountain of Fire. With a wood armor, some obsidian itself, and a heart, so you'll be decked out in gear that boasts 1,350 durability, also absorbs 70% of physical damage taken, but sets your attackers on flipping fire, so be careful where you duke it out, all the while giving you immunity to fire itself. Now this is an armor worth pursuing, and you could very well get one from a chest of the depths, or X marks the spots too, so you can spare any trouble of gathering the materials needed. But I am not kidding when I say that the horned helmet, an armor I bet some of you didn't even know existed up until right this moment, may be one of the best pieces of armor in the entire game. The seashells and rope should be self-explanatory. But how about getting this horn that's about? Well, more murder is afoot as always, because the only way to obtain one is through the death of water beefaloes at a 33% chance each. So get one and craft an armor that has 85% protection from damage, will prevent from physical poison attacks very much like the seashell suit that came before it, and still comes with a 35% wetness resistance, which is the best of any helmet across every Don't Star game. Really the only downside is that it only has 600 durability, but if you want the most well-rounded and useful set of armor across all of Shipwrecked, maybe even all of Reign of Giants, then look no further. 
The Horn Helmet reigns supreme. But there you have everyone, a far quicker showcase of all the exclusive armors within Don't Starve Shipwrecked. A select couple are worthy of your attention, while the remainder are easily forgettable considering armors from the base game are still accessible. But whatever the case, it's still best to know your options. And remember that wearing multiple armors within Solo Don't Starve actually means something, so keep that in mind. Plus, you shouldn't be just standing around getting your noggin bonked anyways kite the dudes but thanks for watching folks well wishes to all and i'll see you in the next one bye bye